Hey, how are you doing? Um, wanted to just get on here a little bit and chat about a few things. Um, first off, football season started. So did soccer, soccer championships. So, um, go San Jose Earthquakes. Hope they really, 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 uh, make it through the next year. I hope they, they don't move to Las Vegas with their brethren, the Raiders and the A's, which are also owned by Mr. Wolf. Um, I'm in the backyard. I, I don't know how much, how many more days I've got in the backyard. It, it's a little cloudy, but, um, kind of wanted to talk about, you know, asking for help and getting help and so forth. One of the things that um, happened in September or this September, I asked for a COVID shot and it took me around and around and around and around a circle. I had to wait for this time. I had to wait for that time. I had to wait for this time. <coughs> um, and I just couldn't get it. At one point, I was, um, I asked for the price of it. You know, I'm like, fine, I'll just pay it, whatever it is. Thinking it was around $50. It was $199. That's $100. That's nearly $200, really. That's, let's just call it $200. Um, I don't know who's got that just to go get a COVID shot. I don't know who's, who's got it. And I don't know why in relation to other things that could be compared to why it would be okay to do that, to charge that much. And, and you can say, you know, oh, they did this considering just last year in 2023, um, a lot, I didn't get a shot because I, I had to wait six months for one and then they didn't have any. And then it's like, it's an old shot. Don't get it. And it's like, okay. And lo and behold this year, I think a lot of people got sick with COVID. So why isn't this still being given out by the government? Why isn't it still, why is it now so expensive? $199. Wow. I, I don't have that kind of money. Um, I kind of want to touch on something I brought up about people not liking me. Um, it has to do with the parasocial relationship and somebody actually addressed this in a video that hey, I don't know if you like or dislike my videos. And I was like, huh, that's interesting because the conversation in the comments was very animated and very, it, it generated some clicks where when I was on Blue Sky and I brought it up, nobody thought anything of it. And it was also the different audience. On YouTube, there are, there is an audience just primed, ready to be in the comments, commenting on anything. You. It, it depends on the hashtag, I noticed this, where, like on Blue Sky, it's um, more international um, individuals. There's not a lot of bots, and it's interesting when you do come across a bot or a paid um, entity you know, kind of thing, um, and what, what prompts them, like a hashtag for the election. Um, it, it, it is rather, you know, if you really do take time and attention to it. So when, when I was talking about in the live, um, on the 13th, I think it was, um, or the 14th, um, I was talking about a job that I had 
And I, it, I didn't care. I mean, my boss was my boss. I didn't, you know, I didn't hold anything against them. I accepted who they were, what their, their, uh, mode of apprendi were, and I accepted the pay. Whether they liked me or not is totally on them. And not firing me or not dismissing me or not, you know, being honest to themselves was more telling and gave me more, I don't know, power, leverage than they knew. And so when I left, it was more, again, a reflection on that person and those individuals that I worked with than anything I could have done before. I mean, aside from really honestly calling them out and saying, hey, you don't like me. And what would that have done? It wouldn't have done anything for me. It would have just, you know, kind of shamed them. And I don't need to do that. It doesn't matter if they're um, immigrants or not. I have worked for mostly, most of my life, family um, businesses, uh, whether it was in security, whether it was in a service industry, whether it was in Cupertino and <coughs> it was a product service management kind of thing. Um, and I have also um, worked for the state of California. And, you know, if you don't like me, it's okay. I, I still breathe. I still live, you know, um, it, it's more of a telling of you than it is of me. Um, it's a bummer when I find out people don't like me. It is it, when, especially your boss, not liking you, it, it kind of like goes like, wait, why did you hire me? What, what was the point of this? And then you kind of go like, well, are you going to fire me now? And, and you kind of go like, okay, any day now I can do something and it's going to set off my boss. And lo and behold, especially when um, I understand that my boss doesn't like me, I almost kind of go, well, you hired me for a reason. Am I not doing that? Am I not fulfilling that? Um it's kind of interesting, you know, it's like, you know, you're going to go through the exercise of firing me or dismissing me, and that's perfectly okay. Uh, I remember, and I do remember the times I have been quote-unquote fired. One time I got a text after work, and it was a um, part-time summer job that I had in, in the 90s, or was it the 2000s? Gosh, I can't quite remember it I know I was here and it was in Palo Alto and I'm trying to remember where I lived at the time anyway I worked there and I think I just finished six weeks and it's interesting the person texted me asked me if they could call me and I said yeah and I'm like okay go ahead and literally the person said while i'm on the way home i we don't want you to come back tomorrow i'm like okay you know uh, give me my check because again i understood that it was them not me it might be me because i um, I'm trying to think of what I did that day. There was something I did that day. Oh, I mispronounced somebody's name. Um, instead of Jamie, it was Jaime. But I said Jamie. And it wasn't a coworker. It was a, um, it was actually, it was, I guess it was a coworker. And I, you know. I said it once, I think, and corrected myself. 
and there wasn't much interaction with this person. But I kind of, from that minute, knew, oh, I made a mistake by mispronouncing this person's name. And I apologized. But trust me, if you think somebody doesn't know when you don't like them or when you want to dismiss them, they know. They know. Um, and they may be ignorant of it. They may not acknowledge their own feelings or something. And so this brings me to the point of this one. Self-confidence is an amazing tool, skill, attribute. Yeah, sure. I got my self-confidence. I don't, oh gosh. Um, I finally started to feel self-confident. Oh, I think in my 30s. I think it started in my 30s. Today, I'm, okay, I can boil an egg. Not very well. I can, you know, I can hard boil an egg. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, and understand that I'm not an expert at boiling eggs. But I can do it, and I'm not afraid to do it. That kind of self-confidence is something that you need in the workplace. Um, so that means, do you know how to do your job? So when um, I was first starting out, I was just basically your basic receptionist. So I know how to answer the phone. I know how to greet people. I know how to transfer a call. I know how to um, do a timesheet. Pretty basic stuff. As an administrative assistant, I know how to um, manage incoming calls, calendar, um, office supplies, um, staff meetings, um, note taking, um, budgets, um, budgets, especially in regards to projects and travel and um, reimbursements. As an office manager, this gets a little thing. I do onboarding. I sometimes have to fire people. I sometimes have to negotiate insurance and find insurance and work on insurance and add people to insurance and take people off insurance. I um, have to work with cities for licensing. I have to work with suppliers, I have to work with vendors, and I still have to do everything else with my coworkers. Birthdays. Do they have vacation coming up? Um, do they need something? Do they want do they do they want something but they can't ask for it, like an office chair? So that kind of brings into that. In HR, the minute details of PTO. Um, entering in health um, human resources information systems, HRIS. In project management, you need to understand your budget, your goal, the time constraints, how many people can do the job, what is the what is the service that's being provided or project that or product that's for this project. Um, you know, all those things I have in my back pocket and I don't think about them because I know them and so when I'm applying for a job or working on a job I can do that one of the things I do in bookkeeping and is really you know kind of like my forte is doing forensic accounting and collecting on bad debt and being able to do that and I'm not afraid to do it that is another self-confidence that I have. Have I gotten afraid? Oh yeah, I've had a customer argue that this, this bill is not their bill. And it's like, no, it's your bill. You know, you got it, we have pictures, you know. Um, it's, it's something that, you know, okay, you don't want to pay the bill, but you do owe this money, and we can send it to a collection agency. Um, it is interesting how that happens. 
Um, and it's unfortunate when it does. But that's bookkeeping, and I'm not afraid to do that. That kind of self-confidence isn't easy to come by. It comes from, you know, knowing how to bookkeep, first off, knowing uh, credits and debits, knowing what the purpose of that is, knowing, um, understanding how to do it, but also everything I just told you, I can explain and train somebody else to do. That is incredible self-confidence. And letting them learn how to do it, giving them the space and time to do it. Um, so if you're looking for a job, the best thing I can tell you, go to a temp agency. Sincerely, if you are looking for a job, sign up with a temporary agency, especially like Ultimate Staffing. Um, if you want to find out, you know, uh, put your, you know, contact me in the comments and I'll, you know, connect you with my recruiter. Um, or somebody that they know in your area. Um, sincerely, one of the few ways I learned how I knew what I knew was working for a temporary agency and taking their skills test. Um, other than that, have a good day. I'm going to go ahead and go and be more self-confident.